Hello again. I mentioned the other day that although only one-eighth of the people in the world are of black African ancestry, they have somehow managed to get people to call them the majority, which is indeed no mean feat. This is, even for the mad state of the world today, quite an achievement. It is only possible because people have been so cowed by constant accusations of racism combined with regular and frequent repetition of the word white privilege, that they no longer like to challenge anything at all said about black people, just in case they sound racist themselves. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item which reports on the, this latest lunacy and tells us that Westminster Council are dropping the use of the expression BAME, an initialism which stands for Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic, in favour of the term Global Majority to describe black people and Asians. This is quite shocking and I shall explain why. Black people in Westminster are dead keen on this and in fact the change in term is being driven by them. Other councils and also government departments are due to follow suit. Global majority is a phrase which will be on everybody's lips next year. So why do I say that this is a shocking development? The population of the world is 8 billion. In Asia there are 4.5 billion people. So by any reckoning the majority of the people in the world are Asians. They are indeed the global majority. For this reason, it is quite okay to refer to Chinese people and Indians and so on as the global majority. That's what they are. But how do black people manage to get lumped in with Asians? There are roughly 1.4 billion people in Africa. 20% um, of them are not black, so roughly 1.1 billion are black Africans. Then too, there are a few million in Europe and America as well. There are also over a billion people in the world of white European ancestry, including a quarter of a billion in North America alone. <coughs> so the question is, why are we lumping that billion black people along with Asians and calling them together the global majority? Why shouldn't we instead add the billion white people to the four and a half billion Asians and call that the global majority instead? Why are we choosing people of African origin to put together with people in Asia rather than those of European heritage or ancestry? I hope that viewers are able to see clearly what is going on here. By using the expression global majority to include black people, they are able to piggyback their ways into special consideration by latching on to Asians who are the real and undisputed global majority. People of black African ancestry no longer belong to the global majority than I do. It is a scam. Asians don't ask for special consideration, despite their being the global majority, but simply get on with studying, working and getting on under their own steam. Once we accept black people as belonging to the global majority in some way, you will be amazed at how quickly this turns into an anti-white movement, one which entails special privileges for black people. The idea that one-eighth of the world's population could in any way be considered part of the global majority is absurd. You have been warned because this is an idea whose time has come. And those pressing for the adoption of this dishonest expression are mainly black people in Britain. Asians don't need to brand themselves as a global majority because they've been that for many years now. 